YouTube, he back, man. It's your boy Take a Vision. And today we'll be doing a a fade. You know what I'm saying? And my eyes, this fade was super clean to me. And real easy. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. So you of course you want to start off by combing or brushing the hair. I prefer comb because it really get them little hairs and really pull all the hairs off the scalp because you can make it easier for your clipper to glide through the hair you know what i'm saying you don't want it to have a hard time going through the hair that's why you comb everything out so i go and set in my first guideline with my gold fx taking out the c cup and i do do my phase different i work in sections i don't just set the the lines in all around the head I do one side of the head, then I do the other side, and then I do the back glass. That just make it faster for me, and it's like easier for me also. It's like I'm more focused on one side. And then I go on my new Babyliss clipper, going up at least a half inch with the lever open. These are my newest clippers, and this is my first head that I put them to use for. And you know what I'm saying? I like them, you know what I'm saying? Like it come in a bundle with these and the trimmers. And this is really the only clipper I really use besides the Andes, which is my detail guard. When I mean the only clipper I use, I mean throughout this cut. You know what I'm saying? And then I put on my one guard with the lever open, which is the one and a half, sending that third guy line to stand consistent. This cut gonna come out sharp, y'all gonna see. <laughs> then I close the lever again out that middle line. I told y'all I don't use my half guard or zero guard, I just Go with the one guard close to get out the middle line. Then I'll go ahead and put on my one and a half guard. Fully closed, taking out the bulk at the very top. Also staying consistent, you know what I'm saying? I just make everything so much cleaner. Then I go in with my one guard open. Just clearing out the dark spots that I see right underneath the one and a half guard. Then I close my uh, lever fully. Getting out that bottom line. And normally I use my Andes to detail, but this is my first time using this clipper, so I wanted to get this a try. I'm just clearing out the dark spots. And when I say detailing, that really means just like going back over the fade, just clearing out all the dark spots you see. And y'all know on this side, I really don't talk too much about the cut. I just really give like a little speech on this side. Cause I'm doing the same thing I did on the opposite side, on this side, the same steps. You know what I'm saying? So today we just gonna talk about how people come and go out your life. You know what I'm saying? If somebody just easily come and go out your life, they wasn't really with you from the start. They were just was just, you know what I'm saying? They just was with you just to be with you. Cause you I mean if you if they really was your friends or like your best friend or something like that, they gonna put up a fight before y'all fall out or whatever. And real friends don't really fall out. Y'all bounce back for real, for real. Y'all just have y'all moments. And they all bounce back. Some people, like, I don't know, man. Some people just be grimy. So, like, and people be down when friends leave them or something like that or stop being their friend. If somebody stop being your friend, man, just keep it pushing. Just move forward. Look ahead. Just keep grinding and doing you. They're going to regret that they stop being friends with you. They're going to try to come back in life, and it's just up to you to be a sucker or accept them or not accept them. Just let them feel what they did. And now we on the back. The back, I did the same thing, but I just set my guidelines like thicker, if that makes sense. Like I set them, like normally I do like half inch on the sides. I set my guideline a whole inch, if that makes sense on the back. So the, the feed can be higher. Cause this was actually like a ball feed, not really a ball feed, but a high feed. I'm just going and setting my, my second guideline. <clears throat> and then I put on my one guard fully open setting the third guideline it's really just the same steps but i just set it the like set the guidelines a little bit big like a little bit more thicker than i do on the sides to really make the high like the feed last longer in the back and look cleaner in the back if y'all get what i'm saying also for me on the back of the feed it seemed like the the guidelines is harder to get out you know what i'm saying like it's harder to fade in the on the back of the head and any fade to me like, you know what I'm saying? So, y'all gonna see me spray water on my uh, client hair. As, like, I explained in the last video, I did the same thing to my last client that I posted. I 
really spray water on the head well mainly the fade to like bring the fade out more to soften up the lines because like it makes it easier for a line to come out after you spray water on it and you really see the fade you know what i'm saying because most fades like if you take a shower or some everything look different i feel as though the water makes it help like make it look more efficient if that makes sense like you'll know you'll get a picture how your, your fade will look when you get out the shower so that's why i really spray water on it that just helped me out a lot i don't really see a lot of barbers do that but there's some i do you know what i'm saying i just i just feel as though it helped me a lot when it's a difficult line to get out but as y'all can see that's the fade and it's coming out clean and right now i'm just cutting off all the hair i left at the bottom of the fade just cleaning everything up getting as bald as possible there's not really no reason why I do that. I just like focusing on the fade while fading. So that's why I really do that. I do that with every fade I do. You know what I'm saying? It just makes it easier for me once again. And right now I'm just fading the bear. I go on my lever open. Then I drop down, put the one guard open, and then I go with my one and a half guard open. And then I do the same thing to the other side, and the, and the bear just faded. You know what I'm saying? That's all you really need to do. Like I said earlier, I'm spraying wood on the hair to like make everything pop out. Then I go back and brush everything down so I can see the flaws in the cut. And then I just do detail work after that. And the Andes is really a a clipper that you can use in any place of the head for a frill because the blade is longer than normal as you can see i'm at the top of the fade just clearing out the bolt like just detailing all the dark spots i see i got my blade fully open and i'm playing with the lever just really just taking out all the dark spots i see these andy's really come in clutch you know what i'm saying like for me i just use it to take out the middle line and then come back and then Use it to take out the dark spots, as you can see. You know what I'm saying? That's just something I really do with the Andes. I don't really use it to cut, cut, like to set the guidelines or whatever. I just use it to take out the, the dark spots that I see in between the haircut. And right now I'm just brushing the, the lineup down again, prepare for the lineup. And then you're going to see me put on my one guard and basically cutting down the hairs to one and a half and i seen a dark spot real fast so i went and cleared that out and continued doing what i was doing with this hair texture i really prefer to cut the hair down to one and a half and if it's still dark around the hairlines after you do that just take the the lever down a notch from one and a half you know what i'm saying i spray my spice on a, a paper towel or a towel to cleanse the skin to get all the dirt out of the skin it really worked. I really prefer y'all to create something to cleanse the skin. And as you can see, is you mean make the skin look better and all that. And then I shoot it like Kobe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then I go ahead and spray my hairspray on the edge ups. Getting it prepared for my trimmers to do a stain. I always start on the uh the bare line. This is my first time using these trimmers. Them Johns hit. Oh my god, they hit. <laughs> I start my lineups off by the boxes, you know what I'm saying? Line up the boxes first and then I work my way. I put my clipper to the middle and work my way over to my left hand side. These clippers is really doing its thing though, man. Like if you're looking for a hit trimmer, I prefer to grab the FX boost trimmers. That's the ones I got came in a bundle. So they just hitting. And now I work my way over to the other side, lining up the, the box first. Then I do the same thing I did on the opposite side to this side. Keep everything natural. You don't want to push nothing back. Just line it up naturally. So when they get out the shower or whatever they do, what they do, cut still can be naturally sharp. You know what I'm saying? What they doing is thing. <laughs> don't be scared to go up on the corners also. When I first started, that was my mistake. I used to be scared to go up on the corners. You know what I'm saying? Just make everything even.
that line up just naturally sharp, man. I go back and line up everything one more time. And I do ask my clients if they want any type of fibers, as y'all can see. And then if he say, yeah, I go ahead and add my fibers. I don't put too much. I just put it on lightly. Just tap it just a little bit. I don't want it to sound like looking too dark. I go ahead and use my older trimmer to line up everything after the fibers are sprayed. Because I don't want to use that. I don't want to line up everything after the fibers are sprayed on my new clipper. Because the fibers do get stuck in a blade sometimes. You got to really clean it out. And I'm just mainly use the other the other trimmers for like just shaping up everything. You know what I'm saying? I try to keep it as clean as possible so they can last way longer. But the graphite's also hit. You know what I'm saying? Both of my trimmers definitely hitters for sure. And then after you spray the fibers, you want to brush all the loose fibers you see. And that hairline is just too crispy. <laughs> you go spray hairspray over the fibers, blow dry, then lock the fibers in and go over the to line up one more time you know what i'm saying i'm using the hitter hitters they just eliminate the hair too easy like they do their thing i'm, I'm glad i got these no cap back in the seat and this is my favorite part the razor work make everything just so complete as you can see i angle my razor i stretch the skin if you don't stretch the skin that's going to be a sad case they're going to be coming out bloody scene <laughs> what i'm saying it's going to be too much cuts on their their skin so make sure you stretch the skin when you do any type of razor work you want to brush the white lining that you see first you want to brush that off so you can actually see the real lineup because that can be covering the, the lineup. You know what I'm saying? So just brush everything off and then go back over the hairline or bare line with the razor. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just doing my thing with these. My favorite thing for, for a fair part of the haircut. Just make everything crispy. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to let y'all watch me get right. See that fade came out clean, man. Super clean. Hairline straight, everything. You know what I'm saying? Spray that spice on them, that alcohol, burn their face off, and that's the end of the cut. You know what I'm saying? If you made it to the end of this video, like, comment, subscribe, and we out of here.